support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. All right, I want to welcome uh, Rutukar VJ. That's right. Oh, I got it right. You're the CEO of Autony, or how do we pronounce it? So, hi, I'm Rutukar VJ. I'm from uh, Autonomy. Autonomy, okay. Yeah. So, we do autonomous delivery robots for hyperlocal spaces. And, uh, you know, this CES specifically, we have been focusing on how can we augment lockers onto our robots. And uh, just like that, so that, uh, you know, instead of you going to the lockers for your pickup and drop, uh, the lockers can come to you. And uh, that's what we've been talking about. Yeah. That's kind of interesting because I know they've, in some cities, you know, the robots are delivering your DoorDash. Yeah. You know, and now you're going to have a locker delivered with your stuff from Amazon or whoever, right? Wow. So that's kind of curious. So how, how is that actually operationally happening then? Is, is, uh, is a fulfillment happening by Amazon and then basically the robot brings it to your address or what's, what's the plan? So we have partnered with Harbor Lockers. With Harbor? So, yeah. So, so uh, you know, uh, all the lockers on the robot are kind of uh, uh, compliant to Harbor Locks. So uh, their app ecosystem marketplace players can actually access our robots just like that. So that gives us like, uh, you know, on uh, at, at, at a very instant, uh, complete access to all the marketplace, uh, you know, guys. So, uh, you know, one of the core differences which we have is like uh, from the food delivery robots and our locker robots is that uh, our robots can make multiple deliveries in a single trip. So, so that just, you know, oh, that's, changes that's the game completely yeah. because uh, we have like, uh, we can handle the peaks very efficiently. Uh, we can bash the orders and deliver them, uh, you know, in a single trip compared to having like 30 robots for doing, handling the peaks and then in non-peak hours, they are underutilized. So, so that's then the difference. So then how many lockers then are on a single robot? So we have like around eight lockers in a single robot. So that's like pretty much eight uh, deliveries in a single trip. Of course, it all depends on package size too, right? Yeah, we do have like two different type of, uh, you know, uh, sizes on the lockers. So we have taken, uh, you know, a lot of inputs from Harbor and all the other locker ecosystems. Uh, one is small and medium. We don't do large at this point in time, but... Yeah, we, we are learning more that what are the fast moving goods and, uh, you know, we can, uh, the, the compartments are customizable. So, yeah. So, have you already brought this to the market or is it just in the planning stage right so, now? So, uh, we have been doing like uh, autonomous delivery since last one and a half years, two years. Uh, we are operating in a couple of airports, universities, and also in cities. So, yeah. So, you're working in airports? Yeah, I'm in, uh, in Cincinnati International Airport and uh, Rome International Airport in Europe. So we have been doing, uh, you know, delivering uh, people, uh, you know, food and beverage so they can order online okay. and enter the departure gate and the robots will deliver. But at the same time, we've been doing, uh, you know, hyperlocal deliveries in cities in Spain and uh, also in the U.S. with, uh, you know, going live with a couple of universities. What do you find then, what do you expect it to be? Mostly food, commerce, what do you expect it to be? So, I mean, uh, that's a good question. Almost, uh, you know, fast-moving goods are food. But uh, the problem areas for the end customer is uh, agnostic. So it can be food and beverage, it can be groceries, which is slightly larger and more, and packages. So we are agnostic to the fact that what it is, uh, what is getting transported from point A to point B. We are the carrier, we are just bringing those lockers back to the customers. In a city, what are you working then? In a two or three block area, what's the radius that the robots are running so around So anything in? between one mile to 1.5 mile is what we cater. Mile to mile and a half. Yeah. And uh, one, one more thing which we realized was that, uh, you know, uh, the robots are very good. You know, the, 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 har the harbor lo locker integration is very good for returns as well. Because returns is a, a pain point for a lot many retailers and e-commerce companies. So you can schedule a return. The robot will come to your doorstep. You don't have to go to a store or, you know, uh, somewhere else to drop your packages there. I live in the country, so I, I don't think robots coming to my house. I don't live in a high enough dense area, but maybe someday. Sure. I <laughs> uh, would love to know your coordinates and we'll have the robot there. Uh, does it go down dirt roads? Uh, dirt roads is fine, <laughs> but, you know, we don't do stairs at this point in time. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. trying to solve 80% of the problem. Right, right, I think right. that's big enough. Yeah, that's cool. So tell folks where they can find out more about your product and service. So you can find out more on autonomy.io. So we are O-T-T-O-N-O-M-Y. And the robots, which we call is Autobots, O-T-T-O-B-O-T-S. All right, awesome. 
Regards. One, yeah, one yeah. last thing sure. which I want to highlight. So this CES, we had like a beer dispenser by Cooler Keg on our robots. So you can order beer and the <laughs> robot can give you a fresh draft to your, you know, to your place. So yeah. we are looking at sporting events, casinos, and many more. So, Sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. Yeah, you should come by the booth. I will. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah, love it. Awesome. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.